right guys um, well we're back and we're just doing a quick reaction to some of the things that have been said in the past couple of days um, first thing we want to hear is Tommy Robinson's response himself so let's take a look at what Robinson has to say about the events now his power that he brought with him the six foot seven Mohammed hijab standing with a gum shield telling people he's ready to fight and die now Tim Paul said there was no what did how did he say it? that there was no um they hadn't come equipped if you stand in front of a load of English lads wearing a gum shield as a Muslim with a big beard saying I'm ready to fight and die now right here sort of a bit prov provocative I don't know maybe not in America so there's three or four things that he said that um <laughs> justifies okay uh, being attacked in his mind all right so one of them is that if you stand up and you're a tall person all right so if you're six foot maybe two maybe you know what i'm saying it's not that provocative if you're five foot eleven all right that's that's cool um now, number two is you've got to have a beard <laughs> so do you know what i mean the fact that i had a beard that's provocative now for that other guy gavin mcginnis he had a kind of little beard as well so i'm sure maybe he would fit in the same category of someone who's a provocative person number three of a gum shield now a gum shield is not a weapon i'm not sure why people keep mentioning this gum shield i carry this gum shield everywhere i go and it's actually i brought it out before i brought out the gum shield in speaker's corner before a gum shield is something which helps protect your teeth <laughs> do you know what i mean and i use the gum shield or i put in the gum shield where i feel that there could be a threat of attack so it's actually a defensive thing it's not something which is uh, intended to attack anyone it's not a weapon gum shield is something you put in your mouth to prevent your teeth from being broken i don't see why that's a provocative thing now the first thing he said or the, or the last thing that he said is um and actually i've been questioned on this so like why did i say i'm ready to fight and i'm ready to die it was actually in response to what one of his people said one of his supporters and this might appear in the video um but you can re return to that he was like okay i'm gonna kill you I'm gonna kill you. So, so I kept, so he kept repeating that. He was right next to me. So I said, "All right, whatever." I said, "Whatever." I'm ready to fight and I'm ready to die. And I said it in that, that exact tone. I didn't say it like I'm ready to fight. I didn't make an announcement that I'm ready to fight and I'm ready to die. That was a response to what these people were saying to me. Do you understand? And they, they, what they were saying is that I'm gonna stab you. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, and it's on the video. And when I'm leaving, they're saying similar things. And obviously, they wanted to hurt me, and that's what they did. But anyways, let's see what he continues to say. Up, but it is here. So, and I watched, and, and I just watched another video this morning where the first security guy that come up to Mohammed Hijab, he said, "Why don't we fight? Why don't we fight?" Anyone who's watched him at Speaker's Corner knows this is what he does. He intimidates and he offers to fight everybody. Well, okay, let's take a look at that. Yeah, so no problem. We'll look at a video that he's talking about. Um, that he says that I offered the security guard. It wasn't a security guard. It was a guy that was from the FLA who called his friends afterwards, and we'll see what what we're talking about. But. He goes, if you look at his videos in Speaker's Corner, he offers to fight. So let's see who the people I've, I've offered to fight. Number one, I've offered to fight him, Tommy Robinson, in the MMA environment. And that's very well known. The video's got like 200,000 views, okay? He knows that. And that was on the back of him offering Ali to fight in a boxing match. So he offers to fight in a boxing match. Then I said, okay, well, if you want to have a boxing match, no problem. To be honest with you, I didn't know the size of the man. I realized very quickly that he's actually a very small man. I didn't know the size of him. I didn't know, the, you know, how big he was. So it wouldn't have been a fair fight. So I, f I f kind of thought, you know, forget it afterwards, yeah? Because he's not going to want to do it anyways. And look at the size of him compared to the size of me. Yeah, and I didn't know that he was like that. I, f I assumed that he was a bigger man. Number two, um, Sarah. I offered Sarah to fight in a video that's got 330,000 views on my channel. Okay, but that was an MMA, once again, MMA legal fight. And that was on the back of Sarah offering someone else to fight. So I've only, uh, and I've offered a couple of other people to fight who've acted hostile. Of them, this guy that we're going to see now, yeah? In what environment though? In a legal environment? In what context? In the context of them offering someone to fight in the first place. So if they are saying they want to fight and then someone asks, answers their call, so why are they complaining? Tommy Robinson himself, he said, I'll fight any, I've never, back, he said, I've never backed down from any Muslim who's ever challenged me to a fight. So I wanted to challenge that. I've never put forward the same kind of thing. I'm not, I would never stand up and say it or put in a video, yeah, that, okay, I've never backed down from anyone and I'll fight any EDL member or I'd fight any FDA because at the end of the day, 
there could be someone out there that can give me, a, can knock me out, can finish me off. So why would I make such an open claim? Yeah, do you get it? So that's from my perspective. So let's see what he continues to say. But Ali Dao didn't actually do anything wrong. So. All right. So Ali Dao didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. So, so what's this then? Which I don't get. I get. I don't get a point here. So Ali Dao didn't do anything wrong. So why don't you condemn the violence? You know, in this whole video, I've not heard him one time condemn the violence. So he's okay for him to get beat to get beats as well because he didn't he didn't put in a gum shield. Do you get it? He didn't put in there. He was he was just standing there. Ali Dawa wasn't putting no gum shield. He didn't all the things that you've listed as quote unquote provocations. My height, my beard, okay, which is something my height is out of my control. My beard is something which is people have beards. Yeah, the fact that I'm a Muslim, that's a provocation according to him. Do you get it? So if you're a Muslim and you go to a place where there's a lot of English people, that's a provocation. Uh, and the fourth thing is that um, I put on a gum shield, which is a protective thing. Okay, uh, that makes a lot of sense, bro. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, 